After we connect the mainboard, I will demonstrate how to do it, we will place a fan to cool the motor driver. The cooler block on the drivers may not be enough, I used a case to place the fan, I used this case to prevent oxy and dental touch to card. You see the fan is placed on this. It will be like this, this case will protect cards against external impacts and also will cool the motor drivers. The card consists of three parts, at the bottom, Arduino Mega. And ramp 1 for motor connection adapter on Arduino. And here are motor drivers, and another adapter for these socket connections to the LCD. This is the connection adapter. Motor driver block. Arduino Mega and motor drivers. Motor drivers. When connecting these parts, we have to make a change or we have to connect them with more cables. There is a socket here for power connection, 2 and 2 plus on it. When connecting, if you don't want to use separate wires for plus end. Behind the motor driver block, we solder the plus connections to each other, the points are already merged. We do this to make our connections only with one plus and one e cable, otherwise we will have to use four separate cables. Or we will have to bridge the connections. Soldering the plus poles will let us use only one plus and one e cable if we are using with 12 volt. In other words, we short circuit two plus on the board. When you unbox, you will see jumpers that we use to make the step numbers of the motors more sensitive. Let me show one of them. Sorry, I can't remove off now, let me show on the card, these are the jumpers. Before assembling, we connect the jumpers in the packet to the motor drivers each of which have three jumper connections. There are five motor drivers for five drivers. Before connecting motor drivers we connect these jumpers onto the board, then we can connect the motor drivers. We will connect the motor driver block to the ramp. It is not possible to misconnect them because the pins fit into correct sockets. We simply insert the pins into the corresponding sockets. You can't misconnect it as it will be clearly seen that it is misaligned. Gently, insert the pins into the corresponding sockets. Now, it is connected to the Arduino. We place the motor drivers into the correct driver jumper according to the letter code both on the motor driver and relevant driver. This is the code, connected just like, the code should be at the bottom of the motor driver. The first one I connected is x-axis, the second one is the y-axis motor driver. The third one is for z-axis.
The fourth one is, you see there are two motor drivers here, if you use one nozzle use one of the driver socket. You can use these two sockets if you are using two nozzles. I insert the last motor driver here, into this socket, lastly, I connect the LCD component to these pins. Again, it can be misconnected easily because of the pins and sockets design. Next, I connect the the data cables into correct socket, the socket number is indicated on the card, now, I insert cable 1 into socket 1. Now, I connect cable to socket 2, sorry, I did wrong, this is cable 2 so I connected connect 2. And cable 1 to socket 1. I wrote the number of the cable on both ends because I should insert it to the corresponding sockets on the LCD display. Data cable 1 to socket 1 and data cable 2 to socket 2. You can see the code here, socket 1 and socket 2. I connected the data cables, now the assembly of the display is completed, but now I will disassemble it to connect on the printer. The limit switches are not used standalone, they are placed on a card, normally, there are two connections to the card, but there are three here. The first one is power connection, the second one is switch key. The switches is used, for example when the x-axis goes to the home position. It stops the mechanism at a certain point before it hits the plastic part on this side. We place the switch key facing the direction that we want it to be triggered by the relevant part. Now, when the switch hits this part, it will signal to stop. Y and Z axis works with the same principle. The limit switches stops the mechanisms when they reach home position. These are jumpers on the card to connect these switches. Be careful here, there is one start and one stop switch for each X, Y, Z axis, but we use only start switch. Because we want the switch only to stop the mechanism when it reaches home position, just like this. We use a switch here to stop it, that is okay, how about the other direction? It must stop at a certain point on the opposite direction as well. There should be another switch here as well, but... When programming the printer, we write the end of point of x-axis in the program. It will stop at the point we program it, for example we can write 200 millimeters, it stops when it moves 200 millimeters from the home position. We don't need to stop all axes with a switch. This can be done by programming. The second switches are usually not used in the printers, yet there is available connection point on the card the for the second switch. These are the sensor connection points, T0, T1, T2.
We will connect the sensors to these sockets. There are three socket connections here. One for the heating bed, one for the nozzle driver. If we had two nozzles, we would use the last socket for the second nozzle. These cards are designed for three axes and two nozzles, which means we can use this card for printers with either one or two nozzles. Our printers have one nozzle, so we leave one of the sockets empty. Let me show this way, T0, T1 and T2 sockets. Drivers are respectively X, Y, Z, you see there are two motor connections for Z axis. And this is the extruder motor driver. And this is the second motor driver for the second extruder driver. Remember you can use the second nozzle. And these are connections, one socket for each. And these are switch connections. And these are the sensor connection sockets. If you still have connection problems, you can easily find heating bed, motor and sensor connection chart of ramp 1, 4. You can use this chart to make the connections, all connection part and sockets are shown on this chart. The red card, ramp 1 to 4. This is the ramp 1 to 4 card. This is the identical drawing of the ramp 1 for card, the red card. It is very easy to find it on the internet, simply search for ramp 1 for connection chart. If you use different cards, you can find their connection charts on the internet as well. We will mount these components on the printer. We will mount the heating bed, sensors, and then we will mount the electronic card on the back of the printer. Lastly, after we mount the LCD display we will wire the components, which means we will have finished electronic mounting of the parts.